welcome to Morning Walk, where we discuss our walk of faith in Christ. Proverbs says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Proverbs reminds us of man's propensity to rely on his own thoughts and ideas, putting what we think is best over what God tells us and the direction that he has for our lives. This is obviously a humanistic tendency of self-sufficiency, which was first introduced in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve knew what God had said, but Satan deceived them by tempting them that they could be their own source and do their own thing, being their own center of reference, not having to derive or depend on God. It was the big lie. And ever since, man has learned the hard way that he can't experience life as God intended, apart from total dependence upon God. Man's motto ever since has tended to be, you learn to make good choices by making bad choices. <laughs> However, Jesus showed us the way because he is the way. He said, enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. In this passage, Jesus is contrasting the kingdom of God with religion. And he pictures two ways and the necessity of choosing one over the other, God or Satan. You see, the small gate is the entrance to the narrow way which leads to life, and few find it, for it's not attractive, comfortable, or easygoing. Jesus is the way of life, and his way is singular. His way is not an easy passage, for indeed it is impossible apart from the receptivity of God's grace activity. It is not the popular road of majority opinion which pleases the masses, for it is often walked alone, seeking only God's approval. The religious way is a popular way, for it's easier and more socially acceptable. As the proverb states, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. All men will choose one way or the other, leading to spiritual life or spiritual death. The choice is yours today. Choose life as God intended and walk in Him.